everybody, Chris here. Welcome back to the Nuccio Auto Group. This is a car that I probably could talk about for hours, but it is one of the most revolutionary vehicles. In fact, I think today's supercar industry owes this car a debt of gratitude. This is the 1991 Acura NSX. So yes, this is an automatic. Everybody, that's our first question on it. I will tell you this, you have to change your perspective on what this car really is. The manual is a sports car all day long, but you put an automatic in this car and it is a sublime Grand Tourer for a ton of reasons and I will show you why. All right, let's take a look at this 91 NSX. Uh, this car is totally stock in spectacular condition, spectacular. Uh, it is in original condition. Front end here, excellent. Lower chin, excellent. Got a stone chip here, just gonna show you that, but there's very little anything uh, up front here. The, the, the paint is fantastic. Got those pop-up headlamps, which we'll show you. Coming down the driver's side, uh, it's, it's fantastic too. We actually got a, a, a new set of Yokohamas. I went and found a, you know, Yokohamas are what they had from the factory, so I wanted to replicate as close to factory as possible. 205.50. R11, I'm sorry, 15 up front. But look at the reflection. I mean, this car is an awesome example of the, I mean, just of the specimen and the breed. Uh, these, and, you know, the wheel condition uh, is excellent too. I didn't point that out up front, but uh, this one you have Yokohama's again, 22530 R16. There's no modification. The stock exhaust tips are in excellent condition. See that whole lower fairing, even like all the condition of the, of the components cosmetically, the, the lenses. Come around to the passenger side where you'll see that again, as I always say, there's really not much to talk about because it looks just like the, the driver's side. But yeah, brand new tires, the wheels are excellent. Look at the reflection of that paint on there. And it, there's really not a whole lot. And uh, Mark, make sure you get the roof here. You know, these are this is really how they all came from the factory, but you know, that's excellent. The glass back here that hides the engine, actually. Let's just, let's take a look at that. Release right here. Open it from the center. And then you've got this, obviously, visibility. Engine cover. Pop this up. It's a three liter Honda uh, B Tech motor. This car is, I mean, I've driven this car already. It drives fantastic. But this motor, the coolest thing is just even like the engine mounts they use for this. You can feel a little bit of that vibration through the car. Uh, and it's intentional. Definitely adds to the experience. Uh, the sound, because this is right behind your uh, behind your ears, you've got this intake box here. The intake sound is a little bit toxicating in here. I love, love, love driving these cars. Love it. All right, so under here, actually, Mark, let's take a look at those pop-up headlamps. I don't know, man. Kids go nuts for these things these days. But let's also take a look under here. All stock, not compromised, as it left the factory. Got a brand new battery installed by yours truly. But the condition, you know, stickers, paint, welds, all of it is factory. Um, you know, really no compromise. This is just a beautiful version of this car and a great example of a factory stock NSX. All right, inside, this is such a unique interior. They actually did design this after the F-16 uh, jet fighter uh, because the visibility is really a, a canopy. So step-in's great. It's pretty wide. Obviously, the car's low, but these seats are so comfortable. It is tilt and telescope wheel. You do have two different levers for it. So you got a tilt and then a telescope. But the visibility is like nothing else. 
the wraparound cockpit is nice. All the materials are super high quality. And the drivability of this car, I, there's really, let's say it a million times, but there's nothing that really compares to it. The quality, the feel, it's a timeless feel of this car. It just doesn't feel old. It doesn't feel like it's from 1991. Um, this car really did revolutionize the game for uh, Acura and also the rest of the supercar industry. Uh, it really birthed the idea that you should be able to drive a supercar every day. Um, I think we should all be able to thank Acura for the Ferrari F355. All right. Well, that old Honda sound, I love that. Well, let's take a ride in one of my absolute favorite cars of all time. Like I said earlier, I know that the automatic is not the most desired transmission combination in this car. Now, legitimately tens of thousands of dollars in value difference between this and the uh, manual. Does that make this car a bad car? Absolutely not. But here's what I'm going to challenge you. Focus on this car being a grand touring car and not a sports car. By grand touring, I mean a car you can jump in and drive and take a nice road trip in. It's comfortable, it's smooth. You have to think of this more as a competitor to the like BMW 850 of its day. That was probably the closest competitor you could come up with with this car. But it's uh, this particular car is in unbelievable condition. Genuinely unbelievable. I mean, here, I got the air conditioning on. The automatic cars have power steering. And you can tell I put the camera there because I really wanted to just give uh, the overall feel of how awesome this cockpit is. This is the best visibility forward of any car I know. Uh, they actually, and I'm not making this up, they actually designed this cockpit to be similar to the canopy on a F-16 fighter. True story. But I mean, this, it's smooth, it's quiet, it, these seats are so comfortable. I mean, it's the car you really, I would like, you, I'd wanna jump in and just drive to California in this thing. The automatic is super stout, but it, you know, it's, it's robust. Shifts quick but smooth. And let, let's talk about this. I'm driving an Acura NSX. I mean, that, that alone is just such a cool thing. But here, I mean, I'm sitting in stop and go traffic right now with cold air conditioning on an 88 degree Chicago day. Yeah, they, don't get me wrong, the auto is different. It's definitely different, but it changes the character of the car. It's a, it's a different vehicle. I could. <laughs> These are so massively different between the transmissions that I could actually see an NSX owner having a manual and an automatic. You know, one for one for certain occasions. They'll stick when you want to go out and go out and rip some uh, 8,000 RPM shifts. But the auto, when you want to cruise for a long time, go for a date night, loan it to your friend. But my first car was actually a 1991 Honda CRX. And as much as I loved that car, this car is also a 1991, and there's just a little, like, the beeping chime. Like, I remember getting in the car and hearing that. It's the same exact one as my, as my uh, CRX. But the alignment's arrow straight. These cars are kind of known for that. Like, I can literally floor it. Uh, brakes feel awesome. They're super tight. I can slam on them and ABS it right now, but I'm not going to do that. Architecturally and mechanically, I don't. I mean, this car literally feels like it would be driven out of the showroom at an Acura store in 1991. 38,000 miles, so it's been driven. It's, it hasn't sat, but that's still exceptionally low miles. It's over. It's about a thousand miles a year from its from its onset. And when you look at the condition, that makes sense. Uh, red on ivory. What an awesome color combination. So period correct, but most of these were red black, so when you get the light interior, uh, I, I do personally think this is the preferred combination. It's just so pretty. Cruising along about 60 miles an hour right now. It's quiet. I'm gonna take a cruise on the highway here for a minute. So the performance experience in this car is pretty amazing still. The three liter V6 that's behind me. The way Honda engineered this car is the, the mounting of uh, Basically, the, the, where, the, where the engine's mounted, the engine mounts are designed to basically give you a little bit of that engine vibration in here. When I say engine vibration, I mean it's like a, it's built in, it's part of the experience. It's not a vibration where it's annoying, you just kind of feel a little bit of it. Like the Lamborghini Diablo is a little bit like that. The way it's those are mounted, you, you hear and feel the engine, and it's kind of like that. Very cool. Um, 
the sound, I'll, uh, I'll give you a little sound clip here shortly. But 80 miles an hour, this is awesome. The seats are fantastic. There's such little, uh, there's such little adjustments here. And it doesn't matter, the seats are fantastic. Oh, the Acura Bose system. So this does have the optional uh, CD changer in the trunk. But one thing, and it's an NSX plague, is the speakers um, in the Bose system. Each door has its own amplifier, they go out. But, knowing they go out, they've already been replaced. I demonstrate that, but YouTube flags everything that's copyrighted, so I can't do that. So, I'll sing you a song if you like. It is an auto, and I don't want to disappoint Andy Griffin coming into a curb. I'm going to just rip it here. Here we go. Listen to the sound of the engine, that's what you got to focus on. nothing else to compare to it. Look how low that front end is. This car really had a lot of first. First VTEC engine, that's a big huge deal because almost everybody has variable valve technology now. Uh, this is an aluminum space frame car, so it's one of the, I, this might have been the first aluminum frame car that was built. Uh, super lightweight, obviously, and the, it's super solid, obviously. You can't hear anything. There's no squeaks or rattles, even on a, a bumpy road. But, you know, this car's 33 years old, and obviously they're not going to be making anything like this anymore. And the new NSX, as awesome as it is, did not capture the magic of this car. There's an intangible magic when you're in this car. It's the feel, it's the fit. This still smells like a new Acura. This is a, I mean, this is a phenomenal example of what happens when you put a car in great hands and they take fantastic care of it. I mean, even look at how well conditioned all this is. This is like a padded cover here. Thanks for checking out this 91 NSX with me. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I really do appreciate this car, and I know that this car is a revolutionary car um, historically. So these cars are really going to always be something that's sought after. Uh, when you find a car in original condition like this, I mean, this is remarkable. When I first saw this car, I was blown away at how nice it is. Uh, it is, I can't imagine the driving experience in this car was any different than the day it left the dealership. But make sure you check out our website, nucciaautos.com, and you can check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel, which you're seeing right here. So stay tuned with us. We've always got more coming. We'll see you next time.